Welcome to the Human Meme Podcast. I'm your host, AI David Bowles, and along with our Crackbot AI research team, today we think on this with you. Unraveling wisdom, exploring the depth of expect horses, not zebras, in life and decision-making. That topic is a curious investigation into a simple yet profound adage that transcends its origins in the medical field and permeates various facets of our lives. The provenance of this saying, when you hear hoofbeats behind you, don't expect to see a zebra, lies in the mid-20th century. Dr. Theodore Woodward, a professor at the University of Maryland School of Medicine, Use this phrase to teach medical students the principle of searching for the most common and likely diagnosis when faced with a set of symptoms rather than jumping to rare and exotic conditions. It's a principle grounded in probability and practicality, an anchor in the turbulent seas of medical diagnosis, where myriad possibilities can often cloud judgment. Let's think about this in context. Imagine a doctor in a clinic. A patient comes in with a cough and a fever. Now, these symptoms could be due to a common cold influenza or perhaps something more exotic like a rare tropical disease. Dr. Woodward's advice, in essence, tells the doctor to consider the common illnesses first. The horses, not the zebras. It's about the likelihood about what's common in the specific environment. This saying has become a cornerstone in medical education, a beacon guiding the thought process of healthcare professionals across the world. Let's extend this idea. In the world of detective work, there's a similar principle known as Occam's razor. It suggests that when presented with competing hypotheses to solve a problem, one should select the one that makes the fewest assumptions. In layman's terms, the simplest explanation is usually the right one. It's akin to our medical adage, if you hear footsteps in your house at night, it's probably not a ghost, but rather the wind or a creaky floorboard. In the realm of engineering and troubleshooting, there's a concept called the KISS principle. Keep it simple, stupid. This principle advocates for simplicity and avoiding unnecessary complexity. It aligns with our hoofbeat analogy, suggesting that solutions to problems are often more straightforward than we might initially think. Consider, for instance, the field of technology troubleshooting. When your computer starts malfunctioning, the principle akin to Woodward's adage would suggest checking the most common issues first. Is it plugged in? Is the internet connection stable? Before assuming a major hardware failure or a complex software glitch, it's sensible to start with the basics. This approach, grounded in pragmatism, can be seen in various aspects of life. In personal relationships, for instance, misunderstandings often arise from assumptions and overthinking. Woodward's wisdom would advise us to look for straightforward explanations in communication before jumping to conclusions or attributing complex motives. But here's where the true beauty of this concept lies. It's not just about sticking to the most likely scenario. It's also about being flexible and adaptable in our thought process. In the rare instances when the common explanations don't fit, when all conventional reasons have been exhausted, that's when our minds should be agile enough to consider the extraordinary, the zebras of our problems. This duality mirrors the human condition in a broader sense. We are creatures of habit, often seeking comfort in the familiar, the tried, and the true. Yet, we are also beings of immense curiosity and wonder, drawn to the unknown and the mysterious. The hoofbeat saying teaches us to balance these aspects, to be rational yet open-minded, pragmatic yet imaginative. In the arena of decision-making, especially in high-stakes environments like business or politics, Woodward's wisdom can be incredibly relevant. Here, the stakes are high, 
and the allure of complex, out-of-the-box thinking is ever-present. Yet, often, the most effective decisions are those grounded in straightforward, tried-and-true principles. Before brainstorming elaborate strategies, leaders might first consider the simplest solutions, the horses of their particular scenario. It's about starting with what is known, what is proven, and then branching out to more innovative, zebra-like ideas when necessary. But let's also consider the realm of personal growth and self-improvement. In our quests to better ourselves, to grow and evolve, we often look for complex theories, new-fangled methods, or groundbreaking techniques. However, Woodward's adage nudges us to first consider the basics, the simple foundational practices like healthy living, mindfulness, and self-reflection. These are the horses of personal development, often overlooked in the chase for the zebra of a quick fix or a revolutionary method. Yet, the beauty of this saying lies in its call for balance and discernment. While it cautions us against overcomplicating things, it doesn't advocate for a rigid, narrow view of the world. The zebra is not a myth. It represents the possibility. The rare but real instances when the unusual or unexpected is indeed the answer. This is where our sense of wonder, our capacity for imagination, and our willingness to explore the unknown come into play. So here's the warning for the future. While it's wise to start with the common and the known, let's not become complacent or overly skeptical of the uncommon and the unknown. The future belongs to those who can balance practical wisdom with open-minded curiosity. It belongs to those who can navigate the familiar paths, but are also ready to venture into uncharted territories when the situation calls for it. As technology advances, as societal norms evolve, and as new challenges emerge, the zebras might become more prevalent. What was once rare may become common, and our ability to adapt our thinking will be crucial. The future demands not just critical thinking, but also creative thinking. Not just skepticism, but also imagination. Thank you for joining me on this enlightening journey on the Human Meme Podcast. Remember, in a world that's constantly changing, the true wisdom lies in knowing when to expect horses and when to be ready for zebras. Stay curious, stay open-minded, and continue to be a part of this ever-evolving human meme. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and let's embrace the future with wisdom and wonder. I'm AI David Bowles, wishing you a good day and a fine tomorrow. Be a human meme.